Soldiers often derive joy from fulfilling their official duties, but sometimes they end up being casualties of war. In the end, the families they leave behind have to live with the pain of their absence. However, some soldiers eventually end up healing the wounds of their loved ones through thoughtful and incredible acts after they die. In Todd Weaver's case, what he did will melt your heart. Todd and Emma's marital life was at its peak because they had just added one member to their family, Kylie. Her birth brought so much spark and joy to the lives of the couple, but this joy was cut short when the US Army asked Todd to serve in the Afghanistan war. While some soldiers make it home after the war, some meet with their demise. Unfortunately, Todd was one of those who never returned home. Following Todd's death, they sent his body back to the US and his family started making preparations to bury him. During this period, Emma received some of her late husband's remains. One of them included a laptop. But since she was still in grief, she paid no attention to any of the items. Meanwhile, something shocking was hiding in the laptop all along. Once the preparation for the funeral was complete, friends and family gathered to pay their final respects to Todd. Afterward, his family buried him at Arlington National Cemetery. Two days after the burial, Emma finally checked Todd's luggage. Nothing was out of the ordinary at first until she opened his laptop. When she did, the first thing she saw made her eyes pop widely. Since Emma got to know about her husband's death, she had been secretly hurting. There were so many things she still wanted to hear from him. Besides, it hurt her beyond words that he never got to say bye. But all that was about to end, and Emma would soon thank her stars that she checked the laptop. There were two documents on Todd's desktop. He named one Dear Emma, and the other was Dear Kylie. Emma's heart melted when she saw the documents. She knew Todd must have left the note should he not return from the war. The letters were heartwarming confessions of a hero, doting father and loving husband. One beautiful part of the letter reads, The memories that we have shared over the last few years have been the best of my life. Although it may seem like my life was cut short, I lived a life that most can only dream of. I married the perfect woman. I have a beautiful daughter that amazed me every day. After reading the letters, Emma felt like a vacuum in her heart was sealed. To always remember her husband's words, she superimposed the letters on photos. Then, she displayed the photos on the walls of their home. Although nothing would ever take Todd's place, it was thoughtful of him to have left such comforting parting gifts for his wife and daughter. Just like Todd, Joseph did something that would put a smile on your face, yet break your heart. Not all love affairs start at first sight. But that was the case for Kayla and Joseph, a military man. They loved each other so much. As for Kayla, she could never have imagined her life without him. But fate had other plans. In December 2019, the duo tied the knot. But just one month after their marriage, things went south. The military suddenly deployed Joseph to Afghanistan. The couple still had so much they wanted to do. They wanted to have a proper wedding ceremony. Besides, they were planning to start a family even though they both had kids from their previous relationships. Thus, Joseph's six months deployment came as a major setback. Despite this, the couple hoped that they could carry out all their plans upon his return. A few days before Joseph's departure, he did something touching, but it would take a few months before a secret gets uncovered. When Joseph got to Afghanistan, he and his wife kept communicating through texts and FaceTime. Then one Thursday morning, Kayla received a text from him. He told her he was going on a mission and he would talk to her in 24 hours. But that was the last time she would ever hear from him. What happened next was devastating. A day later, Kayla's doorbell rang. When she looked through the window, she saw two men dressed in uniform. Her heart dropped immediately. The soldiers' faces were heavy. Their eyes spoke lengths about everything that may have transpired. Kayla knew the worst had happened. Joseph had died in Afghanistan. Sadly, she was right. Some days later, they sent Joseph's body back and his family buried him. One morning after the burial, Kayla woke up to a pleasant surprise. You see, before Joseph got deployed, he feared he may never return to his wife. So he wrote endearing letters and hid them in random places around the house. This was his little secret and it only came out in the open that morning. Speaking later in an interview, Kayla said she found about 30 letters and they comforted her in unimaginable ways. These beautiful letters reminds us of the beauty, sacrifices, and sometimes pain that comes with true love. Another woman, Artist Henderson, 
demonstrates the depth of love after something tragic happened. Ensure you watch this emotional story till the end. During Artis's childhood days, she was energetic, high-spirited, and full of life. She also had a vast and creative mind. So, she dreamt of writing and publishing influential books. Unbeknownst to her, one day she would have to write a piece that she had never prepared for. As part of Artis's childhood dream, she also wanted to get married to a conservative, church-going pilot. But one day, that dream vanished when she went to a nightclub in Tallahassee. She met Miles, a military officer at the club. Before Artis could tell what was happening, she started traveling to different army bases with Miles. This life differed from what she wanted. However, her endless love for Miles led her on. Miles and Artis eventually got married. They continued to live happily until 2006, when the military deployed Miles to Iraq. After Miles left for Iraq, Artis's life changed. She had built her world around Miles, and everything suddenly felt like she was standing on sinking sand. Despite this, she continued to expect Miles' return. Then one day, she no longer needed to. That day, when Artis returned home from work, she could tell that something was wrong. The signs were all there from the moment she stepped out of her car. For instance, there were no lights in the garage. Also, when she opened the door, it was already unlocked, so she knew someone must have been home. Finally, the straw that broke the camel's back was when she got into the living room. Her mother was sitting in the middle of the living room, and two soldiers were standing behind her. When Artis saw the soldiers, a sudden cold flashed through her body and her mouth went dry. She needed no one to tell her what had happened. She knew the soldier's presence meant she had lost Miles in Iraq. Artis had a hard time living without Miles. His absence sapped all her energy and enthusiasm. Then one day, something life-changing happened. Artis was going through Miles' belongings when her eyes caught something that looked like a letter. When she inspected it, what she realized made her cheeks turn red. It was a goodbye letter from Miles. Before going to Iraq, Miles had pondered on the possibility of his return. So he poured his heart on paper, hoping Artis would find the hidden letter someday. Luckily, she did. A beautiful part of the letter reads, Dear Artis, live your life on Earth to the max. You have so many options with what to do with your life. Pursue your dreams wisely, with all your heart, with honor, and with decency. I will love you forever, look on you always, and see you soon. I love you, no worries. After Artis found Miles' letter, it strengthened her beyond words. It also renewed her beliefs in love. Then she started something she had never planned. She started writing about her experiences with her husband, who left the world too soon. In 2014, Artis originally published Unmarried Widow, a book that captures her early life with Miles, their separation after the war, and her life without him. I am glad she finally came out of her shell. In this next story, one woman, Donna Strickland Heller, finds something precious in a jewelry box. You won't believe what the box contained. Donna Strickland Heller wasn't a newbie in buying jewelry boxes. All the time she did, things went smoothly. But in 2017, things proved different. That year, Donna bought a second-hand jewelry box, but when she got it home, she was met with a great shock. First off, the box had someone's name written all over it. Then, when Donna opened the jewelry container, she found letters written by someone with the name Charles E. Young. The letters dated back to the 1940s, and they were addressed to his family living in Asheville, United States. One letter even started with, Dearest Wife. After going through the letters, Donna could tell that the writer was a World War II veteran. But since so many decades had passed already, Donna knew Charles' wife would have been deceased. But she was also certain that his kids or relatives would be alive. So she resolved to return the letters to him. Donna got in touch with some news outlets to help with her search. Luckily, Seven News ended up airing her story. One woman, Crystal Jones, who had a big passion for genealogy, came across the story and started researching. She checked old newspapers and also did research on Ancestry.com. Then she finally located Charles' son, Randy Young. After the discovery, Crystal and Donna got in touch with Randy and they informed him about the letter. Afterwards, they traveled to Asheville to meet with Randy. When the trio met, Crystal gave Randy the letters. After reading them, Randy felt an array of emotions. They reconnected him with the past in such a beautiful way. Randy also planned to share the letter with his other siblings. Letter writing has always been a part of different cultures. To date, it remains a powerful way to express one's feelings. How would you feel if one day you find a letter written by a close but late relative?